experience is the biggest enterprise disruption in 60 years. Experience is not some academic or grandiose idea. Just look around your dinner table at your family and friends and watch how they behave. Your friends and family's behaviors are shaped by being consumers. Whether they are interacting with technology on their mobile devices, at a bank kiosk, or using a touchscreen in retail or on their car. Digital is everywhere. We can tangibly see it in our everyday lives. This is changing the way companies organize themselves departmentally and how they architect themselves technologically. Enterprises need to change the way they think about technology. But the biggest organizational change becomes how you break down departmental silos and put the customer at the forefront of what you are trying to do. Customers are only concerned with a consistent story from your enterprise that's personalized with what they are trying to achieve. But the amount of data skyrocketing within organizations, how do you make real personalized experiences for customers? John Meller, who runs the Strategy and Business Development and Alliances Group at Adobe, gives us a practical example in his everyday life. I get a lot of alerts from Delta on my app that aren't really interactions that I initiated, but it's information that's being generated from the machines around me that is important to me and it helps my experience. IoT is quickly becoming a key technology in giving truly personalized experiences for customers. And John travels often on a specific airline who sends John alerts to his phone such as when his luggage is being boarded. This is an IoT interaction because John's luggage passed an IoT sensor that resulted in his phone being automatically alerted, which greatly improves his experience as an airline customer and traveler. And this is just one of millions of examples how enterprises are improving the customer experience. But what about from an organization perspective? How are technologies helping organizations overcome challenges when delivering a great and personalized customer experience? Let's take a look at artificial intelligence and machine learning. Those are things that machines are really, really good at. They're good at watching data, lots of data, 24-7, many, many times a second. It's impossible for people to look at and understand the vast quantities of data being generated and determine trends or anomalies within that data. But artificial intelligence and machine learning can watch data and spot trends or positive or negative anomalies. It facilitates in identifying offerings for consumer groups based on regions or demographics, for example. It helps enterprises operate efficiently and profitably because they made the customer experience better which results in more loyal customers. But personalization on a mass scale to millions of customers is an incredible challenge. Communicating with this many customers is extremely difficult. Artificial intelligence and machine learning enables organizations to tailor messages across devices in order to communicate effectively with your customers, whether it's by sending emails or text. Technologies like AI and machine learning are essentially augmenting human tasks, making it easier to interact with customers. But the amount of data in an organization or the algorithms put against that data is no longer the greatest bottleneck to giving great personalized customer experiences. Content now becomes the bottleneck to personalization. Finding enough content, breaking it down into subcomponents, and combining it with other content becomes the ultimate challenge for truly becoming personal with your audience. What advice does John give organizations that want to create this truly personalized experience with their audience? Organizations have to rethink that content supply chain in a way that makes content more accessible and more reusable at that scale. Rethink your content supply chain, just as you monitor vendors' interactions and manufacturers. Content is the same way. Organizations have to rethink their content supply chain and make content more accessible and more reusable at scale. Putting the technology on top of that can modify resolutions and frame rates in real time 
It can be delivered to any audience across any device at any location. To learn more, check out the full article on my LinkedIn Pulse. Thank you, John Meller and Adobe for sharing your story. I'm Ronald van Loon, and this is The Intelligent World. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.